people do go to, to work and just do their job and go home and that's fine but what we're trying to do with our strategy um, is make that connection between what we're doing as a business what our values are to something that they want to go and talk to their families about you know they want to be proud to, of where they work if colleagues don't understand what their purpose is around their job role they don't understand where the business is trying to go they don't have a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose or an authenticity around what they're doing. We don't want our colleagues just to comply. We want them to feel it and live it and breathe it. And for me, that very much matches up with my experience with Travis Perkins because it's a very authentic business. So I find that there's a connection between my DNA and the DNA of Travis Perkins. We, we connect. The key is keeping things really simple, keeping that clarity and simplicity of message and trying to tap into language that they would appreciate. So it doesn't actually feel like they're being communicated to, it's just something that happens. It's part of the aura, I guess, of being in, in sort of branch life. Um, and that, that feels like it's a really important thing to, to, to maintain. We just have a regular rhythm of communication from our chief exec, basically. Uh, we agreed a couple of years ago when he joined our division that we were gonna, instead of doing a business update, an email from him. We were going to do something filmed. We were going to get him out in branches, film the strategy through the eyes of him, the leadership team, and through our colleagues, and actually telling the st strategic story through the eyes of the colleagues who are actually delivering to customers and, and to their fellow colleagues every day. With social media and everything, what people see on LinkedIn, Twitter, and all those other channels that we use has to match what the experience is internally. And if it doesn't, then there's no trust. So a, a glossy corporate video is not what will resonate with people. They want something a bit more authentic, a bit, something they can trust, something that they go, yeah, that's the business I work for. There's Bob who works in Basingstoke and that's him doing his job. And you know, it's much more authentic than a, a corporate video. So always look at our communications, whether that's something written, it's something in print or something in film, that how is this gonna resonate? Are we actually doing what we need to do? What are the objectives? What, what is in it for the person? watching this? Why are they going to spend seven minutes watching this video? So that's always front and foremost in my mind. Um, so we communicate a lot of stuff, but if it's not relevant, if it's not hardwired into the strategy, then there's no point doing it because what are we trying to achieve? So from my point of view, it's all about being the conscience of the audience I'm delivering to. And if it doesn't tick those boxes, or we challenge it or I challenge it.